Well, back to our top stories. Officials have suspended trading in Tonga Tulip shares. Members of the Tonga board requested the suspension after the company delayed the release of its financial statements. The sugar producer had already said it would have to republish previous results, admitting possible accounting irregularities. Now, some analysts have compared the current crisis at the sugar giant to the Steinhoff scandal. So for more on this, I'm joined in studio now by Maudi Lutzwani, who is the founder and managing director of Luhumo Capital. Maudi, thanks a lot for joining us on Newsnight this evening. Is it fair to compare uh, this situation with Tonga to, in fact, the, the Steinhoff scandal? Thank you for having me. Well, the similarities are there, Faith. Uh, the similarities that uh, the results, um, the financial statements that were uh, previously released and uh, audited and finalized and released to the market uh, have to be reinstated. Th those are the similarities. Um, I think perhaps it's more the quantum um, in terms of the, uh, the, the, the overstating of those results. We understand that at Tongat, uh, they are saying about four and a half billion. It's still a lot of, lot of money uh, of an overstatement. You know, we had uh, a massive amount. I just can't remember the, the figures at, at Steinhoff. Um, but I think it was, you know, also the largest amount um, in terms of the, um, the overstating of those results. So there's a lot of similarities. You know, I, I don't think it's unfair at all to really draw the comparison between the two. There is a lot of similarities. Yeah, but then it says something really about private sector corruption. You know, in often cases, we say that, um, irreg we say that we use the words irregularities and mismanagement of funds when it comes to the private sector, but the public sector, we downright say it's corruption, isn't it? Yep. But it says something about the need for us to perhaps put stringent measures on, number one, auditors, but number two, in terms of really what's happening within the private sector in itself. Yeah, no, absolutely. Corruption is corruption. Whether private or public, it's, it is corruption. It has to be dealt with, you know, the same way, treated the same way as, you know, you would have any other form of corruption. I think this is very unfortunate, uh, Faith. I mean, we've had probably one of the worst years last year, 2018, where, you know, just corporate South Africa was in the spotlight in the news for all the wrong reasons. Mm -hmm. In particular, the uh, accounting profession was you know, called to questions uh, as to whether we should actually, um, you know, they can be relied upon. I mean, I want to sit there as an investment uh, advisor and say, you know, this report that, that has been released and, and finalized as audited, um, it's, it's, an, it's a report that I can rely on and advise my clients to be able to to make informed investment decision, but clearly I can't. Mm -hmm. You know, if it's you know audited financial statements, they will mean nothing uh, to me at this stage. If you know we keep on getting you know reports that audited financial results has have to be reinstated, so it really really raises a lot of questions. And I thought last year we've had it all, but clearly you know I was wrong. Yeah. You know, at the same time when we were hearing about Steinhoff, you know, Tonga was busy cooking those books. I mean, this, these are the numbers that were released in March last year, and we were in the midst of this, the, the, the crisis uh, with Steinhoff, but clearly they were busy uh, cooking those numbers. But then does that not mean that there's a cartel? There's a cartel that exists, especially when it comes to those companies that have been listed on either stock exchange and in terms of the ability and the leeway in being allowed to cook the books. On one side, there's a cartel, but on the other side, it brings into question certain uh, 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 auditing institutions. For example, KPMG has been in yeah. trouble. We had Deloitte to raise the flag on, on Steinhoff. I think it was 17 months before actually coming out of the scandal in itself, which has then brought uh, Deloitte itself into a, a, a series of investigations. So it says something about the cooking up, so to say, and this cartel that seems to exist in the private sector? Yeah, look, I don't know if I would call it a cartel, but I think, uh, and I, I, I like, you know, what, what the, um, uh, some of the recommendations that, that, that have been coming out in the industry to say perhaps to be able to do away or even just eliminate a potential risk going forward, perhaps we should not have an accounting or an auditing firm you know, working on the books for a period, we should actually have a changes. You know, let's say you appoint auditors uh, for two years and then we have to replace uh, with another auditor. I mean, Deloitte were uh, auditors of, um, you know, Tonga for 15 years. So you do become comfortable, you know, and it's start natural. start having it's special favors done? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I think we do need to look at how we've actually been, you know, appointing or regulating the industry and find ways to mitigate against such possible uh, irregularities going forward.
But then the impact of such a, a finding and the impact of suspending the listing, does it have an impact in terms of those individuals that are employed um, within Tonga? Does it have an impact in terms of the livelihoods? What, what knock-on effect will such a finding actually have? Yeah, so I think you know, criminal uh, charges needs to be looked at um, in this case, in further investigation, and, and I think that's what the company is doing. You know, forensic audit is, is now currently ongoing, and of course there will be then consequences of those that have done wrong um, on, on, on the company. It's not something that you can, you can do and so, so clearly get away with it if we've got you know, institutions um, that, that, are, that are sufficient or able to actually execute or prosecute. Um, on such behavior. It's definitely unacceptable and it should not uh, be allowed. If we are to attract foreign investors and yet this is the picture that we are painting, it's definitely not the right way to do it. Hey, where do we go? We've got private sector issues, we've got public sector issues, Maudi. Yeah. It just uh, it leaves a bitter taste in one's mouth, I can imagine. Thanks a lot for joining us on Newsnight Thanks this evening. And sharing some light in terms of what's happening when it comes to the developments there in uh, Town Gata. We've got Maudi Linzwana, who is the founder and managing director of Lihumo Capital. Let